We turn now to NBC's chief White House correspondent, Hallie Jackson. Hallie, let's talk about where things stand. The state of the race, 15 days out. Uh, we spend some time talking about the, the race nationally, but we know it's going to come down to a handful of so-called battleground states. What do the latest polls in these battleground states show? Well, let's talk about him, Craig, because you're right, right? Joe Biden has a healthy lead nationally in our latest poll by about 11 points. But of course, that is not how the Electoral College works. What matters are those swing states. So let's look at the so-called big six. They are Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, those sort of upper Midwest states, uh, including Pennsylvania, as well as North Carolina, Florida and Arizona. Joe Biden leads the president in all of them by anywhere from three to nine points. Pennsylvania is really interesting, not just because it's my home state, but it's 20 electoral votes. It's it's probably, according to experts, the tipping point for either campaign to hit that threshold that they need to win. The president back in 2016 won by less than one percent there. Right now, Joe Biden is actually in the lead by seven points, according to the most recent polling. As you know, though, Craig, the, the message from the Biden camp is don't get complacent even with these leads in battleground states. The message from the Trump campaign when I talked to sources around that campaign is that public sh polls don't show what their internal polls are showing. They actually think this race is tighter than it seems. Final sprint, last opportunity for both these candidates to spend their campaign cash. What do we know about how the, the campaigns are comparing on the money front? How much do they have? Well, here again, Craig, it's the Democrats who have a big advantage to the tune of about $135 million right now. If you look at the month of September, the Biden campaign plus affiliated groups raised $383 million. The Trump campaign and their backers $248 million. This is interesting because the president back in the spring, Craig, we were talking about the money advantage that he have. He filed for re-election the day of his inauguration. It gave him basically a three-year head start, but that has essentially evaporated now. And you can see that concern reflected in where the president headed this weekend during his swing out west to the very blue, very not battleground state of California. Why? Well, for a fundraiser, you also have the reason why money is important, right? It's it's for things like ground game, getting out the vote. It's for things especially like advertising. And right now, the Biden campaign has been outspending the Trump campaign on the air in September by almost a three to one margin. They're focusing on those key battlegrounds we just talked about. Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Craig. Always goes back to the battlegrounds. Our chief White House correspondent, Hallie Jackson. Hallie, thank you. Enjoy.